Okay, so I'm not going to be able to line these up as exactly as I would like. For some reason, those don't want to condense as much as these do. Plants. Oh yeah, I was going to do those off camera too. Well, you get to see me plant all the crops then. Not that there's a point to watching someone plant crops, but hey. Don't even know why I plant the melons anymore. They're completely meaningless. These are basically... If it weren't for crafting ingredients, these are the only plants you would need. You need potatoes, you need corn. Mutt fruit gives you the most food, though. I have no idea why they're jumping up in the air. Literally thousands of mutt fruit. I saw I saw a spot. Ha! Got it there. Getting them condensed though to the getting them good condensed amount of mutt fruits is not easy. Not to mention condensing the potatoes isn't easy either. The planters are... They really should allow you to condense these better. Crops do not grow like someone's little garden. People grow crops right next to each other. Corn is grown in huge fields right on top of each other practically they're not spaced out like that that's ridiculous oops well that one's going to be offset let's see if that throws everyone's OCD out of whack Trigger warning, trigger warning. You should not be a tumbling. I don't care about the razor grain that much either. It's kind of meaningless. Gourds. You just move and spam the plant button. You'll eventually find a place that'll work. Like that. Let's see now. I could probably plant the plant some razor green. What's weird is you can overlap between the two. I don't have very much razor grain, apparently. Carrots. In some settlements... 
the carrots come out planted. Not in all settlements. They spawn in already planted, already grown, I mean. Not planted. Uh, of course, you just planted them. If you planted them, of course they're planted. I've noticed how lately they've been plant, they've been grown, and then they suddenly disappear. Like that. They almost like they update. And the game updates seem to be pretty slow and... Ha! Got it. The game seems to be a little... lagged. When you have... a way overbuilt settlement like I do. and then they all turned into that. And the frames have come to die. Don't have a lot of potatoes either. Potatoes is the one thing I tend to run out of the most, though of adhesive. Which is why I've been planting a lot of potatoes lately. Do I need adhesive? And crap tons of it. I had a goal of upgrading every legendary item I found. Even the ones I have no intent of ever using. Which seems like a waste. But I was doing it for the levels. Not to have legendary raider armor hidden somewhere. I'm going to leave the rest of this row for razor grain. Actually. That was weird. It's almost like I put away the one that I just put over there. Very unusual. Ah, the soothing action of just planting plants. And building up your settlement with purely decorative plants. Not even caring about whether or not they'll ever be used. Seriously, melons are practically worthless. Well. Not sure what I would put there. I intend to continue razor grain down. I don't know what I'm going to put over here. I meant to move that, but... Nope. I guess not. I thought maybe I should move the melons. I'm not going to be able to plant anything in the, a third object there. 
Okay, you're gonna be a jerk. There we go. And that's reserved for future razor grain. We have our nice little hidden garden area. Barber chair. Surgery chair. What else do I need for a garden area? I don't really want to spam containers everywhere. Some shelving there. Some containers in here. Just a few decorative items laying around. If I'm correct about the timing of this video, it will be going up after the election, which means thank God the election's over. Holy crap, a jerk one. Just a slight prediction there, because they're both terrible people. Make no mistake. As far as U.S. politics goes, there is no good option. Wow, that's really crowded. Well, that's all as political as I'm going to get. I, I think they're both jerks. We're up here at outside of the buildable area. So I ended up building just to the top of the world anyway. Thanks to the greenhouse roof. We got a nice greenhouse going here. Too bad it's nighttime and we can't see. Yes. What are you doing up here? Bump. 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 Too bad you can't push him. Yes. You standing on this roof really makes me want you to push you off. Really wants me to push... Make, uh, speech. Eventually I'll learn how to do it. You standing on that edge makes me want to push you off. And I forgot something. It's not there. It's down here. I believe it was here. No, what am I doing? That's crazy. No mixing and matching. One, two, three, replace. Watch, I bet I got him completely out of alignment. Oh yeah, that's just terribly out of alignment. Well, actually, let's just say the broken windows. And it was actually that level I needed to do that in. Eh, I'll just leave them with the... I'll just say the broken windows. And replaced with those.
That's my spawn point. I do intend on building up defenses, though. Of which, the settlement size is getting a little big again. I probably really should only oversize it one more time, but I think I'm going to at least oversize it two more times. That's mostly because turrets take up a lot of the size bar, and the unfortunate thing is I am going to need a lot of turrets. Because there has been a glitch lately that... Basically, um, settlements are being attacked frequently yeah these are pointed into the settlement but that's kinda where the raiders are coming from is over that way no that I guess that's no I can put it there okay Once I wire all these together, I get to figure out how to get a blasted wire going all the way down. The reason I alternate is because these add a ton more defense, and the powered ones really are... Even though the powered ones take up a lot more resources, they add a lot more defense. And given that I'm aiming on a per settlement level of about 600 to, six, 500 to 600 minimum, in order to try to cut back on how many times my settlements are being messed with, I wonder if turrets can shoot each other. I never thought about that. Can turrets shoot each other? Because you can put them really closely. This is the minimum distances for the turrets. As you can see, that one rotating actually interferes with the next turret over. Wire them all together. I said together. Anything with power, if you look at anything with power, you can't jump. But if something interferes with you looking at something with power, then all of a sudden you can jump and you didn't think you could. I got wedged between there. My guess is I'm going to need a power button. There. And then I need to somehow get the power to Yep, I'm wedged again. I should just bring the power generation up here. I could put a pass through and then get a power generation, but... I'm going to have to do something. No, it's not use actual scaffolding. 
need to find the cheapest floor to use. Well, let's use one that doesn't cost steel. I reached level 139. Huh? You won't place there? It's very weird that it wouldn't place there. You think I've been playing this game maybe a little too long? I don't know. Possibly. Kind of wish I started recording more full episodes earlier on, but I pretty much have started recording right about when I could. This PlayStation Share is pretty primitive. I'm hoping now that I can move these along. Go to warehouse, go to walls, go to windowed walls, because that's what I'm adding back in. And then just put the floors out here. Wait. Why wasn't it placing the floor? There's something with this position that... Uh, no. I'm having, I have a feeling that it has something to do with the fact that this is all built on top of an old freeway bridge. And that's why it doesn't want to do it. Either that or something is really going wrong with the fact that the settlement's overbuilt. Now, can you connect from here? That goes across an extra one, so that's on that one, and goes across that one to... There? Yeah. These are probably closer than I need them to be together. Now, I'm going to have to do this. When working really high up, you might as well waste the floor pieces because you're not going to like the alternative of climbing all the way back up the long ladders of a settlement like this. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. You, I need... Um, I think I can practically go straight down to it, actually. Uh, I might need to leave that open. Stairs going down. Stairs going down. Yeah, let's... 
Oh. No, I'm going to have to... Ah. Poop. I know what I have to do, and it's going to be annoying. It's going to have to be this. Floor. Now I need to stick it to that, because I need to transfer the power down from there to this. Because it will, probably won't go through the foundation. And you don't want to stick. And this is why I left the other thing open. I can't jump right now, though. Now, I tried using the conduit on um, one build. As far as it comes to this kind of powering up, up something. And... Well, to put it simply, I had a bad time. Kind of a problem. The actual conduits themselves are really difficult to work with. That should be powered from there. Of course, this isn't powered. Oh, wait, no, this should be powered just by that. Now, I also intend to build something that I've been thinking of. Not here, but over at the other end. Because I have the ones up top for there. I'm not sure if I'll need to build the ones below, though. Build something down here. I want to hang something down basically and build a hanging turret platform there. I might just put them now that I think of it, I think I can just put them there though. On that. That's for another episode. It's daylight. Let's close out the episode with an overview. That showcases the two holes I had to put in for the power. <laughs> Great. Uh, just about out of time, so... Coming along quite nicely. One massive build for the settlers of Finch Farm, so they'll quit getting into trouble with attacks. Well, I'll have to see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Run, 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 run. Window. Window. And all fixed.